No. You're letting down the YouTube. No, I am not letting anyone down. I'm not giving in to peer pressure. <laughs> YouTubers, don't let people bully. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Close, close, close. Mm. There's, a, there's a warning hazard on me. It's, oh, this is what I have to do when I get home from work. How long have you been planning that? All day. A <laughs> meme. These are the sourest sweets, like, ever. Welcome home, Jess. Jess, if you want to work. If I was a sinner, would you be the preacher? Would you be my... Well, that's home, you know. This song came on in Canada when I was in a bar drinking lemonade. Did it go wild? And people went off. They were loving it. Everyone was singing, everyone was dancing. It's just trying to get warm to start off with. Just not running. When it's this cold, it's so hard to like try and get warm before you work out. Anyway, um, it was the Red Bull BC1 finals this weekend and for any of you guys that are kind of OG subscribers you'll know that I'm like massively into my breakdance. I like love it. And B-Boy Issei, I think I'm saying that right, he won it this year and it's like his first year of winning it and he won it in his home state. It wasn't like the most technical or crazy set but it was like a set that I watched and I was like that flowed. This is almost like the final round. From here on in, it's that level, yeah. yeah. And like, I have to admire these breakdancers, how like, crazy, flexible, <laughs> athletic, powerful, and just like, they're just- Exciting and motivated, what are you on wonderful. About? I don't know, I was just running in. Oh. What are you on about? The Rebel BC1. Oh. And how like breakdancers are like super flexible, super powerful, super fast, super coordinated. Like me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The epitome of amazingness. Physical perfection. <laughs> This is wall ball volleyball, and uh, is it safe? I don't know. Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then still fall on your ball. I wish she caught like this, and I was like, oh. The main question is, are you warm? I am indeed. What a fun warm up. 10 out of 10, Kieran. Yeah, so sit down like usual. Okay, now roll the ball in with the Roll the ball in. Yeah, chest up. Chest up. Like that. Yeah, heels on the floor. Get as far as you can. That's like the front. There you go. You feel the pull on your groin? Yeah. Yeah, stay there. Now push it. What is going on team? Craig is you back with a short commentary here and as you can see I'm just helping Adam with his snatch position. Now obviously a lot of snatch does come down to your mobility, especially in kind of your hip flexors, your calves, your glutes and kind of your shoulders. There's so many little aspects that could be tweaked in terms of trying to get you into a better position. And you know one of the common things with the lack of mobility is you'll see people preference the power snatch over the squat snatch. You find a lot of time that you're starfishing or you will find you're in the position that Adam gets into where your kind of chest is falling forwards, your bum's out and the bar kind of looks like it's behind you when doing a squat snatch. Now, what you've seen on the screen is probably one of my favorite drills to one, open up the hips and two, to get you more comfortable in the kind of what they would say pinch position, which is where you bring your hips forwards and into a position that doesn't feel very comfortable, but it allows you to keep your torso in a lot more upright position, which in turn will allow you to have a better bar position over the center of mass and hence you'll be more stable and it will allow you to activate your lats and your shoulders a little bit more. So again, you'll have more stable shoulders. So this drill with the ball is getting them to sit down to the ball and then roll in their hips forwards. What the roll of the hips forwards is gonna do is then it's gonna elevate the chest up. It's like a lever. And if you get them to sit there for like four or five seconds, just opening up the hips and then stand up and repeat this 10, 15, 20 times before you actually start snatching just with a PVC pipe, it can be a great warm up. It can be a great mobility tool to just have in your toolbox. But yeah, give this drill a go, keeping your heels on the floor, rolling the ball in with your bum, keeping that chest nice and upright, and hopefully it can help. But anyway guys, as always, smash that like button, it really, really does help the channel, and we'll talk to you guys later on in the video. Hope you enjoy it.
Yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. 90 kg is so annoying. Like, I, me snatch is like one of those things that I probably don't practice enough. With that, it's like I feel like I have a strong, stable base. Like, my legs feel strong, my core feels strong. But it's just my shoulders, like, even though I try and push with my lats, and you should be stable with your lats when you're doing the snatch. But for me, it's just, it's just practice. I need to do a hell of a lot more snatch balance. I need to do a hell of a lot more overhead squats. I need to do a lot of sots press. I need, I need to just work on it. I get the bar high enough. Like this, this is not the problem. It's just the stability. Like if, if you were to, if you were to tell me to power snatch that, like I can power snatch that. But when I get into a squat snatch, it's a completely different story. And I guess a lot of you guys probably feel the same way too. What did you say? <laughs> And yeah, one more go. Anyway, on that note of constantly failing a weight that you know you should be able to do and you know you can do, let's wad because. Because fitness. Let's wad because pizza. What do you wad for, Jazz? I wad so that I can justify what I eat. I want to be strong. So what's going to be short, sharp, and fast? I don't know what I'm not sure actually. No. You do step up, Sam. You ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> In three, two, one, let's go. And we all thought you loved yourself, but that couldn't have been the issue. Or well, maybe they just singing that now because they miss you. Maybe they tried to diss you. Yeah. Adam. Adam has a few weeks off and it looks like this. I have that like phlegmy feeling at the back of my throat. Big time. It's not like sick, it's like burn. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I think it's your lactic acid. It's the taste of lactic acid. We have both never seen a Yorkshire overhead squat. I'm intrigued. <laughs> this is amazing. I like it. I think you should try it with jazz. <laughs> Maybe from Jazz Derbyshire. Yeah, this is a job. This is a Derbyshire overhead squat. Adam, stand on there, stand on sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Figure it out as we go. Cross your legs. Okay, I got it. Sorry. That's amazing. <laughs> so that is a Derbyshire overhead squat. Now I need to take Adam for an overhead squat. <laughs> no. Yeah. Bye, Ed. Bye. Yeah. Adam has just advised me that in Canada there is no such thing as Nando's. Come on, Canada. And on the note of Nando's, we're going to somewhere that we haven't been in a very long while. Woo! There's nothing more disappointing than getting super hyped up for some food and like, this is exactly what I want to eat. And then get into the shop and it's supposed to be open and it's closed. It says we're wrapping up early, 4 p.m. Well, Nando's. I feel like I wadded for nothing. <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> Two hours later. Two hours later. <laughs> okay. What are you doing, dancing? <laughs> After country music, my favorite kind of genre is reggae. Basically, I like any kind of music that you can move to. I love music. This is my favorite. I really like their Christmas tree. They're just singing Christmas barrels. Oh. <laughs> I got a Jamaican jerk chicken curry. It looks awesome. It smells awesome. I got a goat burger. Goat burger. 
I got uh, I don't know, it's like chicken curry. It's good thing. This is gonna get demolished. Then we have to go pick up dad from the train station because he's back from holiday. He only went for like four days. Jesus, this is spicy. Spicy? <laughs> yes. Food was absolutely awesome, and then we just watched the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That was like a movie that, when we first put it on, we were like, oh, this movie's gonna be rubbish, and then by the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 1, we were like, this movie is epic, when is the next one coming out? And it's coming out this summer. Is that one of my favorite films? There's been a load of conspiracy going around at the moment on YouTube saying that people are losing subscribers or they're losing views. If you don't wanna miss a video, then there's a little bell down below next to the subscribe button. If you click that, then you'll definitely, you'll definitely never not miss a video. You'll always be notified when a video is released. Yeah, so if you can please <laughs> hit that like little bell thing, that would be awesome because then you'll never miss a video. Then it comes up on your food. Yeah, on that note, we are going to go to bed. Half 10. We will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, hit the like button. I love how their like little salad comes with a chicken wing.